Welcome back to Jets Nation. I'm Janae Coakley. I am now joined by the great defensive end, Jet Mohamed Wilkerson. And Mo, how has the offseason been? Uh, offseason going good. Um, you know, just working out and uh, trying to stay in shape and get ready to get back, you know, things going on April 21st. I caught up with you about six weeks ago, and you said that you had changed up your offseason a little bit because after the last four years, you talked to some veterans and said you just got into it too soon. Talk to me about that. Uh, yeah, you know, just talking to veterans, you know, I kind of, just being that I'm young, you know, I wanted to just do football all day, every day, and, uh, you know, I kind of felt that last year, towards the end of the season, you know, I was kind of fatigued, and this year I just felt that, you know, taking more time off, uh, letting the body heal and then getting back thing, you know, getting back into the groove and, you know, working out will help me out. So I'm looking forward to better, definitely a better season this year. And we actually caught up with you when your body was all nice and rested up in Houston. <laughs> Let's take a look at this workout, okay? All right. Mohamed Wilkinson is a, is a laid-back guy who likes to have fun, uh, but when it's time to work, you know, I'm ready. And work is exactly what Mohamed Wilkerson did for six weeks down in Houston, Texas. The defensive end wanted to change things up this offseason, so he went back to where he first started training for his professional career, at CES Performance with legendary defensive coach Pete Jenkins. One, two, three, get out, bro. You know, I have a history with Mohammed in that I had him when he first came out of uh, Temple. I worked with him for seven weeks. But let me tell you, when he came out now, he was a man on a mission. Despite having his best season of his young career, Wilkerson is still on that same mission. Every drill, every moment, he gives it his all. There is no break for Wilkerson. He's motivated by his desire to be great. I feel there's always room for improvement in my game. Uh, and not just me, I think it's feel like everybody. You can always improve on something in your game. So I'm going to work hard this offseason to do what I got to do. And, and uh, hopefully next year, you know, I have more than 10 and a half sets. Hit, hit, push. Good, that's it right there. He's smart. He picks up on things very good. And, he, and, and you know, when he, he takes a rip, it's his best. He gives you his best. Even in the classroom, and that's where the work starts. Before every workout, Wilkerson hits the film room with Coach Jenkins. We're going to start our, our, our agility today. is going to be dip, lean, and strip. Jenkins has been teaching defensive moves since the 1960s. And one of his favorite students, Carl Dunbar, the man in charge of the Jets D-line. Carl can, can observe and see a problem and help a guy get it fixed. Everything that we do with Dunbar, you know, he gets a little bit, you know, he get, pretty much gets it from Coach Jenkins, so it'll help us out. So, you know, you know, sharpen our toolbox. Since Wilkerson can't work with Dunbar in the offseason, working with Jenkins is the next best thing. Say it, hit. There you go, good. After four hours of drills and conditioning, most of the guys are finished for the day. But not Wilkerson. He now hits the weight room. How does this help what you were doing out there? Explode to the office alignment. So this is getting my power, get my power going. That's how you get all your power from. The laid back, soft spoken Wilkerson isn't much of a talker. He doesn't have to be. His work ethic speaks for him. He's a man driven. I'm motivated by my family. Uh, you know, I'm a proud father. You know, I have children. So just a whole bunch of things that, you know, just keep me level headed, and, but also just makes me want to, you know, go that much harder and, and be successful. All right, Mo, we just saw what you did for six weeks down there. What did you learn from that? It's pretty much just sharpening up my tools. You know, uh, coming out, when uh, working out with Coach Jenkins uh, was at CES and then working with Coach Dunbar. You know, we do the same thing. So it's pretty much just sharpening up my tools and just getting ready for a great year this year. You're one of the leaders on this Jets, de this Jets defense, Jets team. What do you think about the moves that they've made so far in the offseason? They added Michael Vick. They've added Eric Decker. What do you like about it? I think the, those moves are great for the team. Uh, you know, John Isaac, you know, that's the GM. Uh, he's a man with a great plan, and uh, I believe in him, you know, since day one, since he stepped in the building. And um, those guys that's coming in, they're only going to help the team. Uh, great re veteran leaders that's going to come in. Uh, Decker, you know, played in the Super Bowl. Uh, Vick, you know, his resume speaks for itself in the league. So they're definitely going to help out the team, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's talk about the defense. And the secondary took a lot of blame for the problems of the defense last year. How do you see it? I think, uh, you know, we could all have been better last year, uh, not just the secondary the up front. Uh, the, you know, the offense, everybody could have been better. Um, can't put bl no blame on them. Um, but I know definitely this year uh, I, I want to put more pressure on myself in the defensive line. I feel like, you know, we're the number one defensive line in the, in the league, and we can do that. And uh, we're young, you know, and we're very talented, and we can make things happen. And uh, so I'm just looking forward to, you know, this season being something special for the Jets. Let's talk about the pressure you put on yourself because there's no doubt that many experts believe you 
should have been a pro bowler and you were that was a snub does that even more motivation for you this There's year There's always motivation for me being that I didn't make it to the pro bowl I know I was an alternate but I didn't make it but uh you know what uh, that just adds more fuel to the fire for me and uh I'm definitely going to make sure uh hopefully I get there this season but uh, you know taking that next step uh, with more pressure you know we want to also get to that big game so uh you know I think that this year is definitely the year that uh you know the Jets make some noise Do you think you did get snubbed I think so, but um, hey, you know, I guess I just didn't, you know, thought I shouldn't have been there, obviously. All right, let's talk about, in two weeks from now, our, new, our next Jets Nation, we're going to do part two of your workout, and we introduced one of your training buddies, <laughs> Mr. Sheldon Richardson. <laughs> have you finally put that rookie in, you know, down to step? Uh, <laughs> he still has his ways, you know, thinking that he's better than me, but uh, of course. We, do, we still know he has a long way to go, but that's my man, right? you know, uh, he always come in uh, to work, you know, come Sunday, you know, he's a, a different man out there and he uh, makes things happen, you know, uh, you know, one uh, rookie, you know, the rookie award. So it's great to have him, you know, in this organization. And I'm looking forward to great things with him in, in this organization as well. How excited are you to finally get to April 21st where you can be with your teammates and work out? Uh, in the words of my old teammate, Bart, you know, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much for joining, Mohammed. Thanks for having and me. And have fun in the offseason. We'll be catching up some more, okay? All right.